Evacuation routes from the Florida Panhandle coast are now closed, and emergency services have been suspended, even as some residents decide to risk their own lives by refusing to evacuate from Hurricane Michael. The time for evacuating along the coast has come and gone. First responders will not be able to come out in the middle of the storm, Florida Governor Rick Scott said in a tweet on Wednesday morning. If you chose to stay in an evacuation zone, you must seek refuge immediately, Scott wrote. Despite days of dire warnings, some Panhandle residents have decided to remain, and some even talk of attending a hurricane party at a Panama City beach bar that lies directly in Michael's path. Share this article share in Bay County, encompassing Panama City Beach, where Michael is expected to make landfall as a Category 4 on Wednesday, roads are now closed, and a mandatory shelter-in-place order has been issued. Fire and emergency medical services were suspended in Bay County just before 8 a.m. local time on Wednesday. Life-threatening conditions are beginning to occur in Bay County. It is now time to shelter in place. Go inside, stay inside. Seek shelter in an interior room with few windows, Bay County Emergency Services said in a flash bulletin. Among the evacuation holdouts is Timothy Thomas, who isn't budging from his home in Panama City Beach, even though it's directly in the path of Hurricane Michael. Thomas, a 50-year-old air conditioning repairman, plans to defy an evacuation order and ride out the monster storm in an apartment that's just a few hundred yards from the beach, and even closer to the tea-colored Grand Lagoon which will rise as the massive storm pushes ocean water toward the coast. An Illinois native with a beard, long hair and a streak of independence, Thomas hasn't been through a major hurricane before, he's only lived in Panama City Beach about seven years. A neighbor with far more storm experience is evacuating to higher ground, but police aren't being pushy about enforcing the order, and Thomas figures he, his wife and their puppy will be okay, since they live in a second-floor apartment. It's more than 10 feet off the ground, after all, and forecasters say the water in his area isn't supposed to rise that much. If it does I guess we'll be swimming, he said Tuesday evening as the sky darkened overhead. Thomas isn't alone. Other residents along his street also plan to take on Michael head-on, even though authorities have told about 120,000 residents of Bay County to leave. Thomas's first-floor neighbors also plan to stay, and they're welcome upstairs if the water gets too high, Thomas said. So are his next-door neighbors and their dog. We've got canned food and a can opener. We have lots of water and food for the dogs, and I'm going to tape up the windows, cover the windows, just tack them up with sheets, or whatever, to keep the glass from flying if that happens, he said. As Thomas spoke, a hurricane party was going on less than two miles away at Buster's Beer and Bait, a dive bar popular both with locals and tourists who overwhelm the region during the summer. With Michael percolating out in the Gulf of Mexico on Tuesday night, dozens of people gathered outside Buster's as small palm trees swayed in the breeze nearby. On the bar's Facebook page, a $5 special was announced for a drink called the Storm Surge. Other places were shut down and locked up. The windows were covered with metal hurricane shutters at Pineapple Willie's, a popular beachfront restaurant, and sandbags blocked the entrance to a Wells Fargo bank. Plywood covered the front at Shrimp City, a small seafood market. Dwight Williams, who lives across the street from Thomas, wasn't taking any chances he and his wife were packing to evacuate. They plan to stay with friends in Defian Yak Springs, a panhandle town about 30 miles inland. 
Their single-story home is built to withstand winds blowing up to 130 miles per hour, Williams said, but rising water is scary. What worries me is the storm surge, said Williams, who has lived on the street about 24 years. Thomas said relatives in Illinois had urged him to leave and stay with them, but he didn't have a way to get so far north so quickly, and shelters aren't a good option in his view. You never know who you're sleeping beside, he said. Here, I do dot so Thomas and his wife will stay put. And once the wind stops howling and the water recedes, Thomas will await the natural outcome of a hurricane for someone who works in the air conditioning business in a place known for hot, humid summers. After all the air conditioners go underwater, we'll be busy, he said.